can remember the first time I actually met you and your husband and your older daughter, Alex. And we were at not a walk right in ministry event, but it was still a time where we were meeting as special needs families. And I remember afterwards, there was just like a social time and my kids, my two bigger kids were on the floor. So they're older sibling to Rose, who's five. And they, Alex came over and was like knelt down with them. And she started talking to them about like being a sibling. You know, like, you know, it's hard. So it, it's sometimes it's really fun to have a sibling with the instrument syndrome, isn't it? And sometimes it's really hard. And I remember just like that that was perfect, like for my big kids to know that it's okay to have mixed feelings on this. Um, it really impacted me. I know, and I assume it impacted them, but it really impacted me knowing that like that there are other people that can also guide my big kids through what they're going through um, with having a, a sibling that has additional needs that where they're sometimes left out called in to help more than would be traditional in a traditional family um and then from there um you guys actually gave us a weighted blanket it had the information tucked inside the bag for walk right in ministries and so then i kind of started stalking just a little bit <laughs> and kind of seeing what was going on and being like yes this is something i want to be involved in this sounds great i do need support i do feel like i'm struggling and being alone and not connecting with other parents who are experiencing the same journey, being able to actually participate in the Tuesday group has been wonderful, even though I'm still sporadic, but it's still wonderful when I am able to show up and able to engage with people experiencing tough things too. So I think in other Bible studies, it's still great. You're still getting God's word, but there's missing this um, understanding with each other of of hard things and hard things within your family and things that are long lasting, things that aren't just a job loss and in two years or a year you'll have another job, but something that lasts for longer than that and can, is, is chronic. So being able to talk with women who not only are on a similar journey, but have a similar faith and are able to experience that faith and encourage one another in that together is really unique. So we were at Jim Pie Pass this past year and with four kids and a busy schedule, we kind of divided and conquered. So we were there and I, with Rose and Xander and my husband came with the other two girls and then they had to leave again. Um, but it was really great to be able to be at, there as a community. And it was fun to be able to have something that even my 11 year old was having fun with, you know, playing with other children or with me and keep going over and keep getting those taste for pie. It's just like, oh, but this is one of the good ones. <laughs> and he actually doesn't, he doesn't actually like pie. So he really liked the things that aren't traditionally pie. So I would say people who are partnering with and supporting this ministry, you're partnering with and supporting like to the glory of God. So you're like turning people's hearts, not towards walk right in ministries, but towards God and being able to use each other um, to spur each other on and really to develop uh, a deeper relationship with each other and with God.